Welcome to a journey of discovery as we delve into the world of plate bearing tests, a crucial step in ensuring stable foundations. Let's begin with the basic. What is plate bearing test? The plate bearing test is a critical assessment conducted to validate the end bearing capacity. Engineers rely on this test, especially when designing shallow foundations like back fittings. It confirms that the soil or the rock can effectively support the foundation's weight and the structure it will uphold. This will ensure the safety and the stability of the construction project. Now, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of the procedure. First, we need to dig a test pit. Second, place the bearing plate on the ground. Third, place the hydraulic jack on the bearing plate. Fourth, place two new displacement transducer that is connected to the ground and also the bearing plate. And lastly, place a two eye beam that is stacked together. In this plate bearing test, reaction anchor is used to ensure stability of the eye beam and eventually hold the eye beam to transfer the load downward. Thus, we secure eight reaction anchors and these anchors are strategically placed on all of four sides of each eye beam with 20 pc strength on each reaction anchor this reaction anchor can withstand a remarkable 1875 kN. with this huge amount of load ground anchors help efficiently transfer the load applied by the hydraulic jet to the ground they ensure that the force is evenly distributed and accurately measured. Using the hydraulic jack, we gradually apply the load to the plate. The load cell will push the I-beam upwards, but with the help of the ground anchor that holds the I-beam with a great amount of load, it will hold the I-beam and indirectly transfer the load downward. In cases where solid rock surfaces are challenging to reach, Test piles are employed to facilitate load transfer. This case was applied in one of the Johan site, which is at Sunway Velocity 3. The test pile, or we call it as a transfer body, serves as intermediaries between the hydraulic jack and the bearing plate. The test is conducted in three cycles, with the load incrementally increased up to 300% of the initial working load. During each cycle, the load is applied in 10 equal increments and maintained for 30 minutes at each level before unloading. This meticulous approach ensures precise data collection, especially when assessing rocking terrain. Now, why do we have two different methods of this plate bearing test? If the site encounter easy terrain with easily found solid rock such as granite, Transfer body is not needed. However, if the site encounters hard terrain such as limestone, a transfer body is needed. Other than that, what makes these two different methods different is because the depth of the rock layers. The depth of the rock layers is sometimes hard to find and making the traditional setup, which is a fed method, impractical. Thus, here is where the pile comes into play. This specialized approach is necessary for the challenging situation because the hydraulic jack has its limited reach which is 600 mm for the hydraulic jack and the load cell with 200 mm. Thus, the test pile will allow us to reach the certain depth that we desire. But how do we interpret the results? We analyze the data to generate load settlement curves. These curves unveil the soil's behavior under different loads. We pinpoint the bearing capacity which represents the maximum safe load the soil can support. And based on JKR prospect, the maximum settlement is either 10% of the pile diameter or 38 mm. That is all for my sharing regarding the plate bearing test. Thank you for joining us today. For a deeper dive into the world of geotechnical foundations, you can visit our YouTube channel.